These might be the two best phones that Samsung makes. I've got the Z Fold 4 and the S22 Ultra. Both are very powerful, have excellent displays, very good camera systems, and a ton of impressive features, but they couldn't offer a more different user experience. So if I had to choose just one, which one would it be? And thank you to Best Buy for sponsoring a portion of this video. A lot of people end up ordering one of these without ever holding it in their hand. So I have to start out by talking about the ergonomics and the design because the difference in this case is quite substantial. The S22 Ultra is a big phone. It's the biggest slab phone that Samsung makes. And we're getting a very sleek design, small bezels, metal sides that somehow don't pick up a ton of fingerprints. And this might still be the nicest looking phone that I've ever used. Now, even though it's a big phone, the curved edges actually make it pretty comfortable to hold. What's really impressive here is that with this super clean design, Samsung was able to integrate the S Pen right into a dedicated silo on the bottom left corner. We also have the best camera system in any Samsung phone. The back camera module consists of four cameras and the system rounds out with an impressive pinhole camera on the front. The display is an absolutely spectacular 6.8 inch dynamic AMOLED 120 Hertz Infinity O Quad HD Plus display. It's bright, it's sharp, the colors are vibrant, and in terms of image quality, it's without question one of the best displays that I've ever used on a phone. When we look at the Z Fold 4, we're getting a completely different approach to design. We're getting a smaller 6.2 inch external display, which is slightly wider and has smaller bezels than the Z Fold 3. Then when you're ready to take it up a notch, the Fold 4 opens up to reveal a big and beautiful 7.6 inch internal display. This display looks and feels a lot bigger than the S22 Ultra display because of the more square dimensions. You can see more on this screen at one time. You don't have to scroll as much. It's great for playing games and for multitasking. When you're watching content, it's not necessarily as big a win as you might expect. Yes, it's a bigger image, but we're also getting much bigger black bars. And if you fill the display with the image, you're cropping quite a bit of the left and the right side of it, again, because of the dimensions. Moving on, and I'll cover this in more detail in the camera section, but there's an under display camera. We've got a pinhole camera on the front, then we've got an upgraded three camera module on the back. When you're using both phones with one hand, and if you have the Z Fold 4, because it's narrower, it's a little bit more comfortable to hold. But keep in mind that it's essentially twice as thick. Now, once you open the Fold 4, then you're fully committed to using two hands. And if you have the option, I would definitely recommend going to a store and handling both options. The Fold 4 also weighs 35 grams more than the S22 Ultra. It's not a deal breaker, but definitely a difference that you'll notice if you're holding both. The displays on both of these phones support HDR10+. We're getting a resolution of 1812 by 2176 on the Fold with a peak brightness of 1200 nits and a pixel density of 373. With the Ultra, we're getting a resolution of 1440 by 3088, an incredibly bright display with a peak brightness of 1750 nits and a higher pixel density of 500 pixels per inch. Now, if you're prioritizing display quality, then I would go with the S22 Ultra. It looks amazing and I love the extra brightness when I'm outside or when I'm in situations where I have to deal with reflections. If on the other hand, you're looking for the biggest display, then of course the Fold 4 is the better choice. And speaking of good choices brings me to today's sponsor, Best Buy and their top deals. So whether you're shopping for yourself or a gift, Make sure that you first visit the top deals section of the website where you'll find the best deals that Best Buy offers. I've been thinking about upgrading one of our TVs, so I was checking out the current deals for a big and affordable option. I also found discounts on all the latest Samsung tablets, as well as some amazing open box deals, which were even more heavily discounted. And if you're looking for a gaming laptop, there are some extremely powerful options from Alienware, Asus, MSI, Razer, and several other manufacturers so you'll be able to find one that fits your budget. There are a ton of product categories, including video games, headphones, cell phones, tablets, major and small appliances, fitness, and a lot more. So if you're in the market for some new gear, home appliances, or a lot of other consumer electronics, but you don't wanna pay full price, check out Best Buy Top Deals for some great discounts. And again, thank you to Best Buy for sponsoring this portion of the video. Another important element to consider when you're choosing between these two is durability. And not to spoil the ending here, but that's a clear win for the S22 Ultra. 
And I'm really impressed with the build quality of both phones. So Samsung incorporated their strongest aluminum armor frame to date, and both phones feature Gorilla Glass Victus Plus, at least on the exterior. The interior of the Fold 4 doesn't use this more durable glass. Now, the S22 Ultra has an IP68 rating, so it's protected against both water and dust. The Z Fold 4 has an IPX8 rating, so you're all set with water protection. You can get it wet, you can even drop it in water, but you do need to worry about dust. I've had no issues with mine, and I didn't have any issues with the very similar Z Fold 3, which I've had since it was released. But the durability win clearly goes to the Ultra. It's a more traditional design. There is no folding display. There are no moving parts, no hinge. So even if you drop it in dirt or if you work in areas that are very dusty, you're much better protected. And speaking of protection, both phones offer face recognition and a fingerprint sensor. The one on the S22 Ultra is located on the display, and with the Z Fold 4, it's incorporated into the power button. Now, personally, I prefer the S22 Ultra sensor because it's in a location that feels more organic to how I pick up the phone. All right, so before I get to the cameras, I wanna talk about the S Pen because both phones offer S Pen support, but the actual user experience is very, very different. First of all, the S22 Ultra actually comes with an S Pen and right out of the box, you can bring it with you because it's stored right inside the body. With the Z Fold 4, you have to buy the Fold Edition of the S Pen or the more expensive Pro model and you don't have a place to store it unless you buy a dedicated case. At that point, not only are you spending more money, but you're also making a phone that's already thicker than other phones, even thicker. As far as actually using the S Pen, the one that comes with the S22 Ultra is small and it's very thin, so it's less comfortable to use. You're also getting a smaller canvas. On the other hand, with the Z Fold 4, you're getting a larger S Pen and a larger display, but you do have to deal with the crease, which is not ideal. And that's a good segue to talking about the crease. It's essentially identical to the one on the Fold 3, so yes, you could see it if you're looking at an angle, and yes, you can feel it. But just like with the Fold 3, it really only bothers me when I use the S Pen. When I'm just using the phone for general use, the crease is right in the middle, so my fingers very rarely touch it. And when I look straight on, the crease is essentially invisible. When we check out the camera systems, the Fold 4 has a 50 megapixel main camera, a 12 megapixel ultra wide, and a 10 megapixel telephoto with three times optical zoom. We're also getting two selfie cameras, a four megapixel under display, which is not that great, and a 10 megapixel one on the outer display. And while this is an improvement over the Fold 3, the S22 Ultra still has the most advanced camera system that Samsung put in any phone. We're getting a 108 megapixel main camera, a 12 megapixel ultra wide, and then two 10 megapixel telephoto cameras, one with a three time optical zoom and one with a 10 time optical zoom. Now, finally, we're getting an outstanding 40 megapixel front facing camera. If you're also looking for the highest resolution video, the S22 Ultra can shoot 8K at 24 frames per second. Now, personally, that's not a feature that I ever use, but if you want it, you get it. Now, of course, both camera systems are excellent, and the vast majority of users are going to be happy with the images and video that they get from both phones. It comes down to picking the better of two choices, which in this case is the S22 Ultra. When we look at CPU performance, things shift back in favor of the Fold 4. The S22 Ultra comes with a very capable Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chip. The 128 gigabyte model comes with eight gigs of RAM, and the 256, 512, and one terabyte models come with 12 gigs of RAM. The Fold 4 has the updated Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 chip. It's offered in 256, 512, and one terabyte models, and every one of them comes with 12 gigabytes of RAM. The newer Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 chip has higher single and multi-core performance. And while it's nice to see the higher scores, I never really ran into situations where the Fold 4 felt faster or snappier than the Ultra. Apps open quickly and run smoothly on both, and the UI seemed quite responsive in both cases. For GPU performance, we also see that the Fold 4 comes out ahead, but again, this didn't translate into a noticeable difference, and both phones are extremely capable. Now, having said that, if you're looking for the phone with the more capable chipset, that would be the Z Fold 4. 
It's also important that we look at battery life and charging. The S22 Ultra comes with a 5,000 milliampere hour battery and 45 watts wired charging versus a 4,400 milliampere hour battery and 25 watt charging on the Fold 4. Now both phones also offer 15 watt wireless charging and 4.5 watt reverse charging, which is a great feature. All in all, the S22 Ultra clearly outlasts the Z Fold 4 in terms of battery life. It also offers faster charging, so this is an easy win for the Ultra. Now I'm working on a full battery drain test of all the current Samsung phones, so keep an eye out for that. And of course, the actual screen on time will always depend on many factors, including the apps and features that you're using, as well as your screen brightness. When it comes to long-term support, both phones now offer four years of OS updates and five years of security updates. And it's really nice to see Samsung continue to improve in this area. As far as multitasking, the S22 Ultra can run two apps, either side-by-side -side or one on top of the other, depending on how you're holding it. The Fold 4 can actually tile three apps at one time, and then even a fourth app in a pop-up window. While that's nice in theory, even on the larger display of the Z Fold 4, I generally only run two apps side by side. But even when I'm only running two apps, the Fold 4 experience is far superior to the S22 Ultra because of the larger display. Now, in case you really wanna take things to the next level and get more of a desktop-like user experience, then you can use DeX with both devices. You can connect them to a keyboard, a mouse, and an external display. And then you have a powerful dual display setup. Now let's get to the fun part, gaming. Both chips offer plenty of processing power to play any of the games that I've tried. That's including Asphalt 9, Genshin Impact, and PUBG. And as you would expect, less demanding games were not an issue. Now I have to say that there wasn't really a situation where I noticed the additional processing power or GPU performance on the Fold 4 come into play, but I'll revisit this in my long-term comparison. And when playing PUBG on either phone, you can set graphics to HDR with frame rate set to extreme, or you can set graphics to ultra HD and then frame rate to ultra. I pretty much always play on either smooth or balanced for graphic and then extreme for frame rate so I can get a fluid gaming experience and still extend the battery life as much as possible. In both cases, I'm super impressed with the gaming capability, but it's probably no surprise that I'm giving the edge to the Fold 4 here because I mean, just look at this display. Now, when you connect an Xbox controller and then stream games using the Xbox Game Pass app, which is something that I do with both, again, the Fold with its larger display comes out ahead. Now, there's a pretty major difference in terms of price. And the Ultra starts out at $1,199 for 128 gigabytes, and usually the 256 gig version sells for $1,299, but right now there's a sale, so you can get the 256 gig model for the same price as the 128. The Fold 4 starts out at $17.99 for 256 gigabytes and goes all the way up to one terabyte, which is a first for a Samsung folding device. Now, neither phone offers a micro SD card slot, so make sure that you get as much internal storage as you need. All right, so having said all that, which one of these would I choose? Just like with the Fold 3, which I already love, the 4 offers a mobile experience that's unmatched by any other Samsung phone. And some people would say that it's unmatched by any phone at all. It's an extremely versatile multitasking device. It offers a fantastic user experience for browsing the web, for social media, for general office type work, and for gaming. So if you're in the market for a foldable device and you want the latest tech, it's definitely worth the premium price. Now, personally, I think that the S22 Ultra is a better fit for most people. It's still very powerful, it has a better camera system, much better battery life, the S Pen is incorporated into the design, the display looks amazing, it's super bright, and right now it costs $600 less than the Fold 4. Now you should watch this comparison, click on my face to subscribe, you know what I always say, buy it nice or buy it twice. Good luck and see you soon.